All right, I wanted to show you guys a couple of games that I got today. Uh, first off, I stopped at a Goodwill and picked up a couple of PlayStation games. Uh, they were actually $2 a piece, but since it was 50% off today, uh, I got them for a buck a piece. And the first one I got was Road Rash 3D. Uh, never played Road Rash 3D for the PlayStation. I played Road Rash, which I liked. So hopefully Road Rash 3D will be a fun game too. Um, got uh, Siphon Filter for the PlayStation. Uh, also a game that I've never played, but I hear good things about it. Hopefully I'm going to like it. And then I went to another thrift store. Uh, I've never actually been to this one before. I just discovered it today. I happened to be taking a different route between stores and... Um, picked up some Atari games. I know it seems like I've been on a run of Atari games. I swear I don't look for them, but when you bump into something uh, that's a good deal, you gotta jump on it. Uh, I was really only interested in eight of the games that they had, but I had to buy all 24. It was 12 bucks, so 50 cents a game. And since I'm really only interested in eight, that's a dollar and a quarter per game, I think. Um, I can live with that, because there's some games that I didn't have, and now I've got a bunch of extras that I can either try and sell or maybe make a trade with somebody. But first game I picked up was for the Atari 7800, Robotron 2084. Uh, I love this game. I hear that the 7800 version is a pretty good port of the arcade, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, next one is one I was kind of surprised I didn't have, but when I checked my list, I sure didn't. Uh, Air Sea Battle for the Atari 2600. Um, also, Real Sports Tennis for the 2600. I have tennis, but apparently Real Sports Tennis is different somehow. I don't know. Um, same thing. Real Sports Football. Somehow I guess it's different. We'll find out. I'll try them out. I'll let you guys know if it's worth getting. Um, a couple more games I didn't have. Uh, Parker Brothers game. Popeye. Uh, I know I've played Popeye for the ColecoVision and the Intellivision. It's a pretty fun game. Maybe it will be for the 2600. Uh, another Parker Brothers game. Spider-Man. Uh, never played that one at all. And this was the one that initially uh, caught my eye. Uh, wasn't quite enough to buy it, but I've never seen it before. I guess it's actually not a rare game, but I've never seen it before. I mean, at all. I've, if you guys have seen it, let me know. But it's called Revenge of the Beefsteak Tomatoes by 20th Century Fox Games of the Century. And I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that on the camera, but it's a bull tomato with horns? I don't know. Maybe I'll try and find a way to get some gameplay footage of that one. Uh, now, this is the one that was actually the reason I ended up buying them. I mean, the beefsteak tomatoes one was kind of interesting, but uh, I had never heard of something called Actiplac before until I was watching Master of Tuba 3's channel, and he's mentioned it a couple of times. So I saw this game and I had to get it. It's an Activision game. It's definitely covered in Actiplac, but uh, it's the name that made me buy it. It's called Plaque Attack. So it's an Activision game with Actiplac called Plaque Attack. Had to get that one. Uh, so just a couple of games. I uh, thought I'd try something a little different this time, maybe be on the camera instead of behind it. Uh, let me know if I did a good job. If not, I guess tell me I did a terrible job. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.